All right, let's go ahead and do this quiz review for solving two-step equations. Number one, V over four minus four equals zero. Step one is to undo addition or subtraction. So we're gonna get rid of this negative four by adding four to both sides. Remember that the equal sign is the middle, so that's what gives you left or right. So on the left, the fours cancel out, leaving us with, with V over four, and on the right, zero plus four is four. So now we have v divided by 4 equals 4, and our second step is to undo multiplication or division. And so v is being divided by 4, so we have to multiply both sides by 4. Because we undo division with multiplication. On the left, the 4 is canceled out, leaving us with v. And on the right, 4 times 4 is 16. Let's move on to number 2. 230 equals negative 10 times b minus 10. So we have b minus 10 in parentheses, and a negative 10 is multiplying this parentheses. Now we could distribute and solve it that way, but to do this as a two-step equation, what we want to do is break b minus 10 out of the parentheses, and the way we're going to do that is by getting rid of the negative 10. So since this negative 10 is multiplying the parentheses, the way we're going to get rid of it is by dividing. So we have to divide both sides by negative 10. So on the right, the negative 10s cancel out, leaving us with b minus 10. And on the left, 230 divided by negative 10 is negative 23. And now all we have to do is to get rid of this negative 10, so we're going to add 10 to both sides. On the right, the 10s cancel out, leaving us with b. And on the left, negative 23 plus 10, different signs subtract, keep the sign of the, of the bigger number, and that is going to be negative 13. All right, let's take a look at number three. Negative five equals two V minus nine. Step one, undo addition or subtraction. So we have to get rid of this negative nine. So we're gonna add nine to both sides. On the right, the nines cancel out, leaving us with two V. And on the left, negative five plus nine. Once again, different signs subtract, keep the sign of the bigger number. So negative five plus nine is going to be positive four. Second step, undo multiplication or division. So V here is being multiplied by two. So the way we undo that is we're gonna divide by two. So on the right, the twos cancel out, leaving us with V. And on the left, four divided by two is two. Number four, negative 54 equals nine times negative 12 plus N. So this is just like number two was. It's again, we have distributive property. But to keep, us, keep this a two-step, we're going to get rid of this 9. And since 9 is multiplying the parentheses, the way we're going to get rid of it is by dividing. So we're going to divide both sides by 9. On the right, the 9s cancel out, leaving us with negative 12 plus n. And on the left, negative 54 divided by positive 9. That's going to be negative 6. Now all we have to do is get rid of this negative 12. So we're going to add 12. To both sides. On the right, the 12s cancel out, leaving us with n. And on the left, negative 6 plus 12. But once again, different signs subtract, keep the sign of the bigger number, and the answer is positive 6. All right, number 5. 10 equals x over 12 plus 12. So we have here, first step, undo addition or subtraction. So we're going to undo this plus 12 by subtracting 12 from both sides. On the right, the 12s cancel out, leaving us with x over 12. And on the left, 10 minus 12, different signs subtract. Keep the sign of the bigger number. This is gonna be negative two. Then second step, undo multiplication or division. x is being divided by 12, and the way we're gonna undo that is we're gonna multiply both sides by 12. On the right, the 12s cancel out, leaving us with x. And on the left, 12 times negative 2 is negative 24. Number 6, negative 10 plus 10p equals 130. Step 1, undo addition subtraction. We have to get rid of this negative 10, so we're going to add 10 to both sides. On the left, the 10s cancel out, leaving us with 10p. And on the right, 130 plus 10 is 140. 
Step two, undo multiplication or division. So we're going to divide both sides by 10 to undo this multiplication by 10. On the left, the 10s cancel out, leaving us with P. And on the right, 140 divided by 10 is 14. All right, number seven. Really the only difference between number seven and problems we've done so far is now we have decimal points. So step one, undo addition subtraction. So we're going to subtract 4.05 from both sides. So on the right, they cancel out, leaving us with 2.8x. And on the left, 20.29 minus 4.05 is 16.24. Then we just have to divide both sides by 2.8. On the right, 2.8 cancel out, leaving us with x. And on the left, 16.24 divided by 2.8 is 5.8. Number 8, 0.3 plus k over 4.8 equals negative 1.9. Step 1, undo addition subtraction. We have to get rid of this positive 0.3 by subtracting 0.3 on both sides. So on the left, they canceled out, leaving us with k over 4.8. And on the right, negative 1.9 minus 0.3, same sign, add them together and keep the sign. This becomes negative 2.2. And so finally, we have to undo division by positive 4.8, so we're going to multiply both sides by 4.8. On the left, they cancel out. And then negative 2.2 times positive 4.8 equals negative 10.56. Okay, last examples here. 7 fourths V minus 2 equals 41 over 4. So, step 1, undo addition or subtraction. So we have to get rid of this negative 2. So we're going to add 2 to both sides. On the left, I have 7 fourths V equals, on the right, I'm going to add this 2 as a fraction over 4. So I'm going to rewrite this 2 as an 8 over 4. And now I can add. 41 plus 8 is 49. So this becomes 49 over 4. Then step 2, undo multiplication or division. So we have to undo multiplication by this fraction. And remember the way we're going to do that is we're going to flip and multiply. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 7 fourths, which is 4 sevenths. On the left, these cancel out, leaving us with V. On the right here, now I can do some cross-simplifying. 4 and 4 can be divided by each other, so these leaves us with 1s. And 49 and 7 can be divided by 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1, and 49 divided by 7 is 7. So we have 7 over 1 times 1 over 1. That makes our answer 7. All right, last one. 3 over 2 plus 1 half N equals 37 over 16. So I need to subtract 3 over 2 from both sides. On the left, we have 1 half n. And on the right, once again, I need common denominators. So I'm going to rewrite negative 3 over 2 as negative 24 over 16. So now 37 minus 24 is 13. So we get 13. Sixteenths. Last thing we need to do is undo this multiplication by one half. So we're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of one half, which is two over one. On the left, they cancel. And on the right, once again, the two and the sixteen can simplify. This becomes a one, and this becomes an eight. And so we have now thirteen over eight times one over one, which is thirteen over eight. And that answer is fine. If you want to convert it to a mixed number, 8 goes into 13 one time with a remainder of 5. So that will be 1 and 5 eighths. All right. I hope that this review has helped you out, and I hope that you do well on the quiz. Good luck.